Whether you're irrigating just a few raised beds or a large elaborate landscape, chances are you're going to need a punch to install your emitters and fittings. Your tools are incredibly important, particularly while installing under the sun and in the dirt. Without the right tools, fatigue can set in fast. And if you have a large project, this can happen while you still have a lot of work to do. You can end up with hand or finger pain. Today, I'm going to cover the many different types of punches and tools and highlight some of their lesser known uses and some of the time-saving tips and tricks you can take advantage of to get the very most out of your punches and tools. You may wonder to yourself, why don't I just use a drill or punch some holes in the tubing with something I already have at home? Because drip irrigation pressurizes your tubing, you want precise holes to prevent leaking, which can not only waste water, but can also compromise the effectiveness of your system. It's also just a lot easier to use a punch purposely built for this task. For insertion tools, why not just wear gloves? You'd think the gloves would help, but they seldom do. You need good grip and dexterity when installing these small barbed parts. And while gloves will help prevent your hands from getting sore, it will make it harder to gain purchase on the parts to effectively install them. Now, if you're just going to be working with drip tape, check out our video there in the top right. It goes over what punches and tools you can use to install the drip tape takeoff adapters. By the end of this video, you'll know what the best punches and tools are for your project. Punches have two main styles, standalone punches that are nothing more than a punch, and punches that come with additional tools and functions, such as blades for cutting tubing, and parts that help with inserting fittings or drippers. In a way, a Swiss Army knife for drip irrigation. When deciding what types of tool you need, there are some things to keep in mind. Consider the size of your project, as this will often correlate with how much your tool will get used. Some tools wear out quicker than others, and after a certain size, some tools will come in clutch to prevent hand fatigue and reduce labor time. Consider your project specifications. If your project calls for a lot of quarter inch fittings and button drippers, some tools will help you out more than others. The other big thing to keep in mind when getting a punch is your hand strength. Some punches, like this Pro Punch, are much easier on the hands than a punch like this one. Some tools also have other features that make drip irrigation installation easier to accomplish. So, what do we mean by project size? In general, we refer to small, medium, and large projects. Now, to some degree, this is subjective. If you've never installed a drip irrigation system before, even a small project can feel kind of large. But in general, a small project might be a few hanging baskets or containers, or a couple raised beds. A medium or moderate project can be anywhere from three to seven beds. After that, it's gonna feel like a large project unless this is something you do professionally. If you ever worked with one quarter inch before, you know that any help is worth it with these fittings. We recommend using at least one of the tool options demonstrated today to help you with one quarter inch fittings, particularly if you're not experienced. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the individual punches and tools, and I'll share the features and uses for each one. First up are all of our single function punches. These tools are just a punch, but even though punching holes is their only use, you can see that there's quite a wide variety of shapes and sizes. Some are meant for very small home systems where you won't need to punch too many holes. Others are more ergonomic or even have handles, making them designed for prolonged use or larger projects that are going to require many punched holes. Pro Punch is one we see used a lot in larger projects. It can punch one half inch tubing like this. If you pop out the adapter, it can punch up to three quarter inch poly tubing. It's very ergonomic and it makes punching fast and easy. It's so easy to use that you might even punch more holes than you'd initially planned for. It's that easy. It's on the higher end of punches, so if you're just punching a few holes, there might be a better punch for you. But if you're punching many or have diminished hand strength, the Pro Punch could be the best route for you to go. The only downside to this punch is that it's only a single function, can only work with up to three quarter inch poly tubing, and can be a little bit difficult to use in tight spaces. You'll also need to buy this in conjunction with another tool to get the most help during your installation. This is our Sininger one quarter inch punch. They're ergonomic and durably constructed, and they make a really good mid-range punch. Some will also enjoy the pocketability of this punch over the Pro Punch. It can also be easier to punch at awkward angles or tight spaces, and it can punch all the way up to one inch poly tubing but it is only a single function punch. So any other tools you might need will have to be purchased separately. The Orbit one quarter inch punch gun is designed specifically to make punching holes in one half inch tubing fast, easy, gentle on the hands and gentle on the wallet. With its familiar scissor form and a cradle to hold the tubing, it makes punching holes very easy. 
You'll have no problem punching dozens of holes at a time with this punch gun, but it is only a single function punch. So any other tools you might need will have to be purchased separately. And it's limited to punching one half inch polytubing sizes. This inexpensive punch is perfect for a smaller system that won't need too many punched holes. Our standard one quarter inch punch, one of our least expensive punches, it'll punch one half inch in larger polytubing. It's a great choice for smaller systems where you don't have to punch a lot of holes. This punch is affordable, pocketable, and durable. Its design allows you to punch holes in awkward and tight spaces. The metal punch tip will last longer than you see on plastic tipped punches, and it can punch all the way up to one inch polytubing, although it is only a single function punch. You'll need either scissors or a cutter to complete an install. And some people prefer a more ergonomic punch. Now, let's take a look at a couple of our multi-function punches and tools, starting with our most economical punch. This is the key punch, the most inexpensive punch we have. Yet despite that, it can do three functions. A one quarter inch punch, a socket at the bottom so you can tighten steel worm gear clamps, and a little hole that assists with the insertion of drippers. This simple key punch is surprisingly one of the most versatile punches available. This punch goes way beyond its small price tag. We find it comes in handy even if you're using other punches. If you're using barbed insert fittings, you can use the socket at the bottom to tighten down your worm gear clamps. If you're installing button drippers and just need a little more surface area, the hole in it comes in very handy. That's why we like to carry this punch with us even when we're using other punches. If you've ever installed a one quarter inch fitting or a barbed dripper, you know how sore it can make your hands and how hard it is to grip onto the small, awkwardly shaped pieces. The key punch could always be on hand to help you with this in addition to your other tools. You can even use the hex socket for installing barbs to one quarter inch tubing and for installing some threaded spray jets onto tubing or rigid risers. Its shape makes it much easier and faster to twist them on. You can even add it to a key ring if you really want to make sure that you always have it on hand. The major pros to this punch is that it is very inexpensive and incredibly versatile. The cons are its punch will dull after about 100 punches, and some people prefer a more ergonomic punch. This is a great punch for small projects or to have as a handy everyday carry item in addition to your other tools and punches. Don't let the low price on our economy punch fool you. It is durably constructed, ergonomic, and punches holes for one quarter inch fittings into one half inch or larger tubing. It also has a small slot to aid in the insertion of one quarter inch barbed fittings into one quarter inch tubing. The tip on it is sharper than you see with most other punches, making it slightly easier to punch the hole and providing a slightly smaller hole that makes for a very tight fit with our quarter inch fitting. If you're going to be punching a number of holes and really want some help inserting one quarter inch fittings while on a budget, this punch can be a solid economical option for you. The only downside is this punch is so sharp, you have to be a bit careful with it and it only has two functions. You'll also need either scissors or a cutter to complete your install. This is our Antelco two-in-one punch and punch in cutter. This versatile one quarter inch punch can also cut tubing up to three quarter inches in diameter. The two in one punch and cutter is versatile and gives you everything you need to finish a project. The cutter and punch should be long lasting even through larger projects. The only downsides are that it doesn't do anything other than punching and cutting and it can only cut or punch up to three quarter inch tubing. If you want other functions, you'll need to pair it with another tool. The Handy Tempo Easy Punch Pro has more features than you'd expect. It is a one quarter inch punch that can also assist in inserting one quarter inch fittings, button drippers, and one quarter inch tubing. The curved cradle holds the tubing so your punch is less likely to slip while punching holes. The slots on the side here near the punching tip hold your quarter inch micro tubing to make inserting button drippers and one quarter inch fittings easier. The little hole at the bottom can hold some button drippers and one quarter inch fittings to aid in pushing them into tubing. And there's also a slot here that helps install flag drippers. This punch is great for smaller projects and has some handy additional features that can really reduce fatigue. It's also small enough to easily fit in your pocket. Be aware of the sharp tip though. Although keep in mind, it's plastic tip will dull after about a hundred plus punches and it has no cutting function. The punch and cut is a durable punch and tool that features a metal tip and a metal blade. This makes it a great mid-range choice for any moderate to larger projects you might have. It serves as a one quarter inch punch with a cradle to help hold the tubing so the punch doesn't slip when punching holes, a cutting blade for one half inch and three quarter inch poly tubing, and 
two sockets that aid in the insertion of some button drippers and one quarter inch fittings. The socket at the end is best for inserting one quarter inch tubing onto one quarter inch barbs, while the socket in the middle serves best for inserting drippers or barbs directly into one half inch tubing, or for inserting one half inch tubing into emitters. Now, both sockets are interchangeable and you can use whichever one gives you the best leverage at the moment. Using the crescents, the punch and cut tool also has the ability to install one quarter inch barb with quarter inch tubing into one half inch tubing. Even more, the crescents also serve as an emitter or barb removal tool. The major pro to this punch is it has many functions, including a cutter. One of the best functions that absolutely merits more mention is its removal ability, something you don't see with a lot of other punches. The removal function of this punch makes it a great punch for general maintenance and modification of your drip irrigation system. Now, on the downside of that are the costs. For a smaller project, there are probably more cost-effective options available. The Deluxe Punch and Cutter is a favorite in the commercial agriculture community. If you're going to be doing a lot of punching or have a very large project, this is the go-to punch. This is our Deluxe Punch and Cutter. It serves as a one quarter inch punch that has replacement tips available. So if you're on a big project and your tip gets dull, you can easily replace it. And it even has a place to store that. It also has a cutting blade that can cut one quarter inch micro tubing, one eighth inch micro tubing, and one half inch poly tubing. It also serves as an insertion tool with slots up here for micro tubing, one quarter inch fittings, and some button drippers, which can come in handy if you're running a lot of drip line rows or installing mini button drippers. We'll leave a list in the description below of some of the button drippers that it works with. Other than the removal tool, this does everything that a punch and cutter does. There is one thing it does that the punch and cutter cannot though. It helps with installing barbed one half inch couplers. This punch is also one of the most durable on the market, which is why it's so popular in commercial agriculture. If you like the punch and cutter, but need something that will give you significantly more punches, the deluxe punch and cutter is for you. Not only does it have a metal tip that's not prone to getting dull, but it's one of the few punches that has a replaceable tip. If the tip does finally get dull, you don't have to replace your entire punch, just the easy to change tip. This tool really is the gold standard for a landscaper or commercial drip irrigation installer. The major pro to this punch is that it can pretty much do it all, and it's incredibly durable. The cutter makes very straight cuts, which is important for drip and makes installing fittings much easier because it doesn't bend the tubing. Perhaps the biggest pro are the replaceable tips. In the other punch, when the tip wears out, you're gonna have to replace the entire punch. With this, you can just replace the easily to change tip. The only real downside to this punch is it has a high cost for smaller projects, it doesn't have a removal function, and its cutting function is limited to up to one half inch polytubing. And the cutter takes a little bit of getting used to as it requires a twist motion to fully slice through the tubing. Over time, as the blade dulls, this will become more pronounced. The pocket punch is a versatile tool with features that make it great for modifying or repairing existing systems. In addition to being a one quarter inch punch for one half inch tubing and a dripper insertion tool, it is one of the few tools that can aid in the removal of drippers, as you can see here. Like the punch and cut, you can use the crescents on the pocket punch to install one quarter inch barbs with tubing directly into one half inch tubing. The major pros of the pocket punch is that it's great for most residential projects. It has a ton of handy features and may be a good tool to keep around if you plan on doing adjustments to your system or maintenance in the future. Its metal tip is durable, although if you need to use this professionally or on larger projects over time, there may be a better punch available. The only real downside to this punch is that the punching is limited to half inch poly tubing and some people prefer a more ergonomic punch. The coupling insert tool is a simple multi-function tool. Like the others, it functions as a one quarter inch punch, but can also insert a variety of one quarter inch fittings, button drippers, and even one half inch barbed insert and permalock fittings. It's not limited to just couplings either. In addition to that, it can also be used to help the insertion of flag drippers. The major pros to this tool is that it's one of the few that can help with one half inch fitting insertion. And along with the other features, it's a handy tool to have around at an affordable price. If you want a single tool that you can rely on to punch for larger projects, there may be a better choice or a combination of tools that may better fit your needs. The major cons to this tool is that there is no cutter and no removal tool. So if you're going to need those functions, you'll have to get either a different punch or a different tool entirely. Now, there is one very useful multifunction tool that we've left out because it's an advanced tool. If you're installing drip irrigation commercially, you may be interested in this one. 
Click the link in the top right to learn more about the Drip Clip Punch Installation Tool. Now we've got a couple tools with no punching capability, but they work in tandem with punches to make installing a drip system much easier. While this tool looks very similar to the Pro Punch, it does not have any punching capability, but it does solve one of the biggest challenges for those new to drip irrigation, inserting one quarter inch fittings into one quarter inch polytubing. Even seasoned pros will use this insertion tool to speed up projects. To use, simply place your fitting into the provided socket then align your tubing with the barb on your fitting. Once you've got it, apply a little bit of pressure to hold it in place and then simply squeeze the handles together. And there you are. The insertion tool also works with some button drippers and quarter inch goof plugs. We'll leave a list in the description below of some of the button drippers that it works with. This is a great tool to have around if you're working with a lot of one quarter inch fittings. It can save you significant amounts of time and a lot of sore fingers. Although it's fairly high cost for its single use, if you're professionally installing drip irrigation, this tool is absolutely worth it. If you're installing a large number of quarter inch fittings and have diminished hand strength, this can also be worth it. If you're installing a large system with dozens to hundreds of quarter inch fittings, this can also be a big time saver and save you sore fingers. For smaller installs, some of the multi-tools functions or even the key punch will give you the value you're looking for. Finally, one of our poly tubing cutting tools. Though not strictly necessary as many people opt for scissors, these do make it easy to cut poly tubing. Better yet, they help ensure a nice, even, straight and smooth cut which is something that's very important to ensure leak-free performance where the tubing connects to the fitting. Our poly tubing cutter can cut almost all the tubing we carry, one quarter inch, one half inch, three quarter inch, and all the way up to one inch tubing. This has one of the best cutting blades out of all of our cutters, and it tends to cut through the tubing instead of creasing or bending the tubing. The major pros for the cutters are that they're designed specifically to cut through tubing. This makes them more effective than scissors, and it keeps your scissors from getting dull. If your project is anything larger than a small garden, it may be worthwhile to get some heavy duty cutters like these. The only real downsides to a cutter is they're not necessarily cost effective for smaller projects when you can just use scissors. In addition to that, a cutter is just a single function tool, so you will need other tools or punches to complete your project. Now for those tips and tricks you've been waiting for. While the punches and tools are all pretty straightforward and easy to use, there are a couple tips that will make getting the most out of them much easier. Number one, when punching tubing, do it early or late when the tubing is cooler. Cooler tubing is stiffer, which helps the punch pop through it instead of stretching the tubing. Number two, for the same reason, insert button drippers and one quarter inch fittings into the wall of one half inch or larger tubing when it is cooler. It helps the fitting pop into that hole instead of stretching the hole. Number three, store all the tools in a cool, dry place, particularly those with any metal parts or components. Also, Try to keep them out of direct sunlight as often as possible when they're not in use. Number four, when you're inserting one quarter inch barbed fittings into quarter inch tubing or half inch barbed or permalock fittings into half inch tubing, it's easier to do it when the tubing is warm, even if you're using one of the insertion tools. When the tubing is warm, it is significantly more flexible. That makes it easier to push things inside of it. Following these tips will help ensure you get the full lifespan out of your punches and tools. All the tools and punches we use today are linked in the description below. If you just like to click and get started, we've got a link to them all right here.